Good morning everyone, it's Brett here, Lionheart84, it's uh, Sunday the 13th of October and this is the first part of a three part uh, video on attempting to germinate sapodilla seeds and I'm going to use three different methods today just to see which one which one works or doesn't work and the time factors involved. Um, here we've got some uh, fresh sapodilla seeds, apparently these last four a long long time anyway <coughs> but let me uh, show you those and they have a sort of a like a white line down one side um, they've, they've all been soaked a day or two is normally fine for these they aren't splitting that's the natural coloration of them so I'm going to use three different methods today <coughs> excuse me I'm going to use the um, paper towel method which is where we dampen a piece of paper towel and uh, put the seeds inside and put them in a, um, a Ziploc bag or something similar. I'm going to use the normal potting in compost directly into compost method. I'm going to try a new method that I've heard about where you leave the seeds in damp moss for a couple of weeks to start germination and then pop them up. So I've got all my various bits and pieces here. So the first thing I'm going to do is moisten the damp towel in some water. Now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do half the sheet because uh, when I fold it over that will uh, the rest of it will go damp. So what I thought I'd try and do is try uh, probably try uh, three seeds I think in the damp in the damp towel and perhaps I'll just do two. I never had much success with this method, they always seem to get mouldy. So if we close that down onto there. Now they should stay moist and what I'm going to do is leave these for a couple of weeks and then see what happens. So I've got a Ziploc bag here that I've written the uh, date on that they will put in so I can keep an eye on things. So we simply slot that in there. Close it up. Leave it somewhere warm for uh, leave it somewhere warm for a couple of weeks to see if they uh, germinate. Okay, so that's stage one. Now the next one, <coughs> got some moss here, which I'm just going to pop in some water to moisten it a little bit more. This is just a normal sphagnum moss you buy for hanging baskets or mixing in with other composts. So you give it a good soak, take some out, make sure you give it a good squeeze because you want all that surplus water out. You don't want them to be too, too wet in the moss. Firm that down into your pot. <coughs> and I'm going to take a couple of seeds. in there like that take some more moss <clears throat> squeeze the surplus water out push that firmly down on top of the, that and again I'm going to put these somewhere warm I'm going to cover them with another sandwich bag with a date on it and I'll put these somewhere warm and then we're going to have a look at them in two weeks time and see what happens. So I won't put the bag top over it now, I'll do that in a while. But of course the plastic cup hasn't got any holes in it, so it'll stay nice and moist and there's no chance of making a mess anyway. <coughs> the, the third method of course, I'm actually going to do two of those moss pots but I won't show the other one now. Now the third one of course, it's just a normal soil method. So I'm just going to take a normal pot of soil, push a couple of seeds on top. Now if I, I, I'm not too sure whether these are meant to be planted on edge or downwards, so I'll push one downwards because I've been told that you should put sapodilla seeds point down. 
but I'll leave one on the edge. I'm going to put two in the pot, put a little bit more compost on top. Pat this down <clears throat> and then I've got a plant stick here with again the date on it which will be going into the pot. Um, I'm not going to water them now because it'll make a mess on the floor but I'll be putting, uh, obviously I shall uh, water them. So I'm going to put these in a propagator with a heated bottom but not covered. But I might put another one of these uh, bags over the top just to keep the condensation in as I think it'll be beneficial. But um, that's the first stage. That's, uh, that's what we're doing just to try three different methods. And what I'll do is in uh, two weeks' time, I'll be looking at the ones in the moss uh, and in the zip bag in the wet tissue to see if there's any germination on them. If there is, then they'll be potted up and I'll video that short bit as well. Anyway, that's just uh, that's the first stage. Second part to follow will be attached to this video. Thanks for watching. Brett out for now. Uh, hello everybody, it's uh, Brett here, Lionheart84. Um, this is the second part of the sapodilla seed uh, experiment. Um, it's actually the 10th of November now. Um, this is a follow-up to the first part of the video which was made on the 13th of October. Um, it's been almost four weeks. I did say I was going to check the seeds after two weeks but I'd subsequently read in a couple of places that sapodillas normally take a good sort of um, four weeks to germinate in most cases. So I thought we'd have a look as it's a Sunday. I thought we'd have a quick look and see if we've had any success or any movement on any seeds whatsoever. So that was the date, if you remember, of them uh, being put in this bag. Now they are damp in here and what I'm curious to see is if they've gone mouldy because obviously it's sort of nearly four weeks later. Um, so we'll have a look and see. I've never had any luck with the damp paper towel method but I thought it was worth having a go to see. Right. Well I'm looking at the two seeds here. There's absolutely no sign of any germination. There's also no sign of any mould on them so whether or not that means the seeds are dead or not or they need longer remains to be seen so as they're not mouldy I'm going to put those back in the bag and give them another couple of weeks longer and see if we have any movement as I said I've never really had much luck with the uh, the damp paper towel method but worth having a look anyway now the one that the one that interests me is the uh, is this moss method that I heard about somewhere on the, the internet on the YouTube and this was reckoned to be a very successful method of germinating the seeds so obviously the downside of this is you have to pick the moss out of the pot until you get down to the seeds which obviously was somewhere down near the bottom and oh, no, this is interesting one of the seeds, let's pull this out, fantastic, yes, look, one of the seeds was germinated in the moss, that's in the first pot. Now, I could, I could put that straight into a pot of compost, but I think for the time being, as it's quite late in the evening and I haven't got time to go out and get compost, I think I'll just put the... Uh, moss back on there for the moment and just cover it up again because I don't think it'll do any harm to be there for a few days so that's that looks to have been successful and that's taken barely four weeks at the moment so I did two pots of these uh, moss ones with the seeds so let's have a look at this other one as well there's no sign of any insect life or any mould growing in the moss so the moss seems to be fairly sterile let's have a look at the seeds in the other one as well no roots coming out of that one. Ah, but there is a sign of, which you can just about see, there are signs of life on that one. So I've got about a 50% germination rate so far on those, uh, on the sapodillas that are in the, uh, are in the damp 
moss in the pots so I'm quite pleased with that and there's a control one I've also got uh, obviously I think I put two seeds in this pot as well and that's in the same propagator as the others so um, at the moment obviously no sign of life there but of course the seeds could be germinating down in the soil what I'm interested to see is if I get a better success rate in compost or in moss and whether or not it's any quicker germinating in the moss than uh, than it is in the compost so that's the second part of the update um, I probably will sow the seeds in the moss in the next two or three days into compost um, and then we'll be able to compare which ones actually germinate first but um, that's the second part of the video for the moment obviously the third part will be hopefully when the seeds actually appear above the soil um, and we'll see which method was the quickest and if there was any um, if there was a better percentage using one method than the other. Obviously the damp paper towel one's not working very well at the moment, but um, we'll uh, catch up in the third part of the video and see which method proved to be most successful. Okay, so it's um, it's now the 17th of November. It's about a week after the sapodilla seed inspection I did, um, where I had a look in the moss to see what was happening with the sapodillas, and I did point out I was gonna repot them at uh, some reasonably soon stage now obviously I've been struggling a bit time wise so what I thought I'd have a look and see is uh, this is very very promising so these are the pots that we looked at about a week ago and you can now see that the seeds are starting to do very well um, there's two seeds in this pot both germinated. Now I won't know, obviously I sowed some seeds in soil as a control comparison. Now I'm not going to see what's happening in the soil until such time as the seeds germinate. This is just to see if this was a more efficient method. Now obviously the advantage of the whole idea of planting these in moss is it's a sort of a sterile, it's a fairly sterile conditions. You haven't got all the soil pests that you might get in soil like various mites and nematodes, um, but because it's in damp moss, it's kept the seeds perfectly moist and it's a nice soft medium for the, uh, for the roots to start growing in. So what I'm going to do is um, I've decided to put one sapodilla in each pot. So all we need is a little bit of, I've got my own, my own potting mix here. Yeah. This is basically just a mix of normal potting compost from a bag, um, sharp sand or coarse sand, depending on what you want to call it, some fine grit, I've added some cocoa fibre and I've added some, uh, some perlite to it. So all those things should improve the dra drainage and just make it easy for the plants to get going. So I'm just going to use a little three inch pot for this. Now I don't know how deep these are meant to be planted, these sapodilla seeds, so basically what I'm going to do, I've filled the pots probably about two thirds, and I'm just going to gently push the root, very gently lay the root downwards in the soil, I don't know if you can see that, without damaging the root, and then literally all you do, put, some, put a little bit of compost on top, very gently firm the surface, you don't want it too firm because you don't want to damage the root. Now all I'm going to do is do that with the two, the two seeds. I've got another moss one to inspect as well here. So again, that was how they were put in and they were on the, they were done on the 13th of uh, October. So we'll have a look in this one as well. See how these are doing. Okay, yep. You can probably see that one's doing very well there as well. So I'm going to put that one in. A, I've at the moment only three have germinated. There's the fourth one, nothing's happened to that. So what I might do is to save putting it back in the moss, I might pop that in one of these pots with the other seeds just to see if it comes up because it doesn't matter and I will label 
now I've done this, I'm going to label it as Moss and the 13th of October so that I can compare it with the uh, with the sapodilla seeds that were planted directly in soil because I'm just interested to see if um, if the ones in soil come up quicker than the ones that were started in moss and repotted but it's just part of the experiment and uh, obviously the final part of this video will be hopefully when the seeds have germinated in the two using the two styles of planting and of course I've still got the seeds in the damp tissue but they don't seem to have done the thing yet but uh, obviously in the final part of the video you'll hopefully see uh, you'll hopefully see the plants germinating we'll see how long they took from start to finish I'll catch up with you in the final part good morning everybody so this is um, this is roughly the eight week update on sapodilla seed germinating methods I started on the 13th of October with uh, three different methods and that was um, the damp tissue method um, the growing in moss method and the planting directly in the soil method so I thought we'd have a look it's the 15th of December now so it's roughly eight weeks later when I looked two weeks ago it looked like the seeds were splitting in here but nothing much had happened so I thought we'll open it up and see what see what progress we've made right okay so I don't know if you can see that but finally this is more than eight weeks later one seed is uh, splitting open if you can see that and the other seed is also split open but although there's a root on it let me see although there's a root on it it doesn't look I'll plant it and see what happens because I'm not too sure if this is actually going to successfully grow but I'll plant that a little bit later in a pot and see now for comparison we could have a duff seed anyway this was a seed that I planted directly in the soil on the 13th of October um, this is in the heated propagator and as yet nothing has appeared at all this is the one in the last section of the video that was started off in damp moss and you saw me pot it up a little bit earlier in the video again that was started in moss on the 13th and that's now up and out of the compost so it looks as if the damp moss method might be the best method um, I've never been a fan of the tissue paper one it never seems to work for me but there is some growth there so I'm going to plant these two seeds up a little bit later today anyway uh, and see if they carry on growing and I'll mark the I'll mark the label as damp moss anyway so you can see what happens anyway that's just an update and that's roughly two months after the seeds were planted so we'll uh, we'll see in the final stage how long it takes the others to come up thanks for watching catch up with you in the next part of the video